Tubanites, welcome to Letters from the Long Box. This is your man Tivo, and welcome to Lords of the Long Box. This is the weekly viewer mail bag video where myself and Mikey Sutton answer your queries that you ask on the Thursday videos of the same name and on the Geekosity Facebook page that Mikey Sutton runs. Uh, pay attention to the Geekosity page. There's going to be some big news dropping really soon. But let, without further ado, let's get right to it, boys and girls. I'm trying to record this early before it gets way too hot in my office. It's supposed to be about like 90 degrees today on a Thursday. Uh, so let's get right to it, boys and girls. Uh, the first questions are coming from Lords of the Long Box video. It's another video from our friend Marisol Rios. Rios, excuse me. Dear Mikey, thanks for answering my question. I would like to know if Sony is still making the Madam Web film and who will be cast. And is it true that Andrew Garfield will return in the live action Spider-Verse as a different Spider-Man? Great question, Marisol. Sony is still making the Madam Web film, but nobody has been cast yet. There have been discussions for Andrew Garfield to return in the live action Spider-Verse project that I previously scooped, scooped but no negotiations have begun. So there you go. Yes, they're still moving forward with the Madam Web movie. The last I heard about Madam Web is uh, it wasn't going to be the geriatric version that you know in the comic books. It was going to be told as either a story in the past or they're going to modernize the version and it's going to be a young version of Madam Web. So there you go. Uh, next question is our friend uh, Bean 2099. Thanks for getting to my question this week. I got a good one for this week. I don't know. You're putting a lot of praise on it. Let's see how it goes, man. All right. Right now, the future of large crowds in movie theater is in doubt even into next year. This is a problem for large budget films because they can't be profitable without large theater crowds. Are studios considering lower budget movies going forward? If, if so, how will they affect the bigger franchises like the MCU, Star Wars, etc.? Will they start doing Bendis style stories where the heroes sit around at a kitchen table repeating the same line of dialogue for half the story? Touche. Uh, Mikey's response is, no, not at all. As long as theaters are, are safe enough to open, the budgets won't be affected at Marvel Studios. Even, even the Disney Plus shows are expensive. I don't know about other companies, though, so that's specifically just to the Marvel stuff. As of this recording right now, in the uh, United States at least, Regal Theaters are planning to open up around the U.S. wherever possible um, starting in August. Uh, also, at the recording of this video, there was reports that came out that Tenet, the Christopher Nolan film, is going to be released internationally ahead of its U.S. release. But I have a feeling it's going to release in the U.S. wherever it can, meaning obviously the southern part of the country now, including California, all through Texas, all through the Bible Belt, all through the South Florida are pretty uh, hot with coronavirus right now. But the northernmost states in the Midwest, at least, seem to be doing better. Um, so there may be some openings, some drive-ins, but Tenet looks like it's going to go ahead on August 21st. And at least in the European country, it's going to be opening a pretty wide release. So pay attention to that. Also, AMC just signed a deal with Universal, if you remember, AMC flexed on Universal because I think uh, Universal released 
which I was it was an animated film they straight released straight to VOD and I think it may have been Trolls one of those films and AMC got pissed off and they said they weren't going to show their films anymore well they struck a deal where um AMC theaters can show universal films, I think seven days after release date, which is a huge, huge difference. It used to be 90 days after release date that it could start showing up on a uh, VOD and DVD platforms, but that it, it just shows the, um, the community, the Hollywood community, entertainment movie business is starting to see this as a long-term effects of COVID-19 and they have to kind of change their business model to adhere to the times. I mean, these change masks are not going away anytime soon. Even when the pandemic is gone and Lord knows when people who are, who are, um, have a history of health issues are still going to be wearing masks. You know, it's just going to be a thing that we have to live with and theaters at home entertainment, all that's going to change. Hell, we may see a rebirth of drive-in movies because the drive-in movies right now are kind of ad hoc. They're kind of just pop-up screens that just show up at a parking lot or something that they're not really what I consider a drive-in theater. When I was a kid, when I was a kid going up in the Bay area, uh, I want to remember it was in South San Jose had a huge drive-in and those screens were large, not like what you see nowadays. Original drive-ins had gigantic, gigantic screens compared to what you see a Papa drive-in now. But thank you for the question. All right, where was I? It was such a long question. I got to mean, uh, okay. Well, thank you, Bean, for that question. Uh, the next question is from uh, Tyler Chinnery. Disney acquired much more than just X-Men with their acquisition of Fox. Will we see Star Jammers make their way to the MCU? And will they have a Velociraptor with them? And will we see more of Cyclops and the Cyclops family for the MCU? You will see Star Jammers in the MCU. Apparently, they will end up, they will be teased on Sword on Disney Plus initially. Uh, that was part of a scoop we did a while ago that we had Star Jammers on our long term spec list for the S O R D Sword. TV show and eventually would appear in theaters. Obviously, they have ties to the X Men, being that Corsair is Scott and Alex's uh, older brother. So look out for that. Anyway, thank you for the question. Next question is from Marvel Freak: Is Marvel Studios still planning to have Craven as the main villain in Spider Man Three? Craven is planned to be in it, but I don't know if he is the main foe. So a long time, long uh, turn, long times. Popular spec has been like Craven's last hunt. Uh, I think we had something last year that it was going to be Chameleon and Craven were being researched uh, for Spider-Man three. So I think either of those are good spec because guess what? They're brothers, Chameleon and uh, Craven. They're pro anyway. Thank you for the question, man. Uh, next question is from Comics at Cape with K's. Very interesting. I see what you did there. Hey TiVo and Mikey, this is Elias Estrada from the Philippines. ¿Cómo está acá? Uh, Mabuhe Gayo and the Lords of the Longbox. I hope I said that correctly. Mabuhe Gayo. Uh, is Haley Seinfeld still attached to play as Kate Bishop in the Disney Plus Hawkeye? She is a great actress from Pitch Perfect and Bumblebee, and she's of Filipino descent. That's right. I think uh, one of her parents is half Filipino. So there you go. I would like to her, I would really like her to play Kate Bishop. Signed off, Proud Panoy. Well, Salamat. Thank you for the question. Uh, good Lord, Mike, you're going to make me uh, speak Tagalog here. Magana Gang Gabi. Magana Gang Gabi. Haley Steinfeld is still attached as Kate Bishop, and most likely she will land the role. By the way, December 2018, anybody, before anybody knew who I was, I reported that Marvel Studios was looking for somebody of Asian descent to play Bishop. There you go. Great job, Mikey. All right. Next questions come from Geekosity. Uh, these, thank God these are shorter questions because I'm horrible at reading uh, uh, questions off of my phone. All right, he's from uh, Nick Taylor from Gigosity asks, when will we get a Wolverine versus Omega Red fight since Fox dropped the ball and never used Omega Red? Mikey's response is, this will definitely happen and most likely among Wolverine's upcoming solo films. Mm. Yeah, those uh, Wolverine versus Omega Red covers that Jim Lee did are just so incredible. That entire... When I think about it, those all the Jim Lee covers that he did on Wolverine, oh, man, those are some incredible covers. Hopefully those will start picking back up when uh, Wolverine gets popular again. He will. When Marvel announces the live-action Wolverine, that 180, 181, whatever, this book, they will all jump in price. I'm, I'm calling it now that Wolverine is going to have a new renaissance for collectors if he hasn't already. All right. Thank you for the question, Nick. Next question is from Thomas, Thomas 
Hornick the second. Wow, that is a cool name. Thomas Hornick the second. Uh, well, we ever see Chris Evans suit up as Captain America again in the MCU? There was gossip. Mikey's response was there was gossip before about Evans and Hugh Jackman meeting in World War II. And honestly, I don't see them letting go of that idea. That would be awesome. So if you don't know, Wolverine is pretty darn old, man. Even in the uh, the horrible Wolverine Origins film, they had Wolverine, I believe, was that the Vietnam War they had him at? But obviously Wolverine ages at a different, uh, pers- different rate than most people. In the comics, he goes back, I think, I want to say the late 1800s, early 1900s, because I'm picturing the Wolverine Origins comic right now. So obviously... He had taken, um, he had the regenerative effects on his body as a mutant already. They only added the adamantanium later, but he's always had the mutant gene of um, of uh, self healing, which makes him slow at a slower pace. Uh, excuse me, age at a slower pace. Now, if before you have, I have, always, I think kind of geeky things, and I always thought, what I want healing powers or regenerative powers? I don't think so, because what? Guess what? From what I can tell. Wolverine can't get drunk. I don't know why he drinks because his self-healing powers basically doesn't allow him to get drunk. He just drinks for the taste of it. That's a badass. And he can't get lung cancer. That's why he smokes all the time because his uh, self-healing powers. So same with Deadpool too. But all right, boys and girls, thank you for joining us. There's something to think about. You know, when you're sitting there bored at home, you're thinking, can Wolverine get drunk? He's got self-healing powers. Hmm. So next time you want self-healing powers, think about how you like getting drunk or whatever else. And then, you know, you may be sober the rest of your life, but you'll live a long time. So there's that. Do you want to live a sober for 200 years or do you want to live drunk for 80 years? It's a question to ponder. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, Make sure you tune in on Monday. I'm going to have a Comics, Tunes, and Toys live claim sale. So until then, boys and girls, I will see you on the YouTubes. Keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.